All right, so next up we wanna find the unit vector in the direction of vector v and show that its length is one. And our vector v is the position vector of the point five comma nine. All right, now in order to solve a problem like this, in order to find a unit vector in the same direction of a position vector, you need to know the following formula. The unit vector that we wanna find will be equal to the position vector v divided by its magnitude. All right, or the length of that vector. And remember that when you denote your unit vector, like I am right here, that you need to use that hat notation. Okay, and really what this just becomes is a scalar multiplication problem. We're just going to have one divided by the magnitude of v multiplied by vector v. All right, so now if you want, feel free to pause the video and try to find this unit vector yourself first. And then once you find it, you can play the video and see if you get the same answer that I do. All right, so feel free to go ahead and try it first. But here's how we'll find this unit vector. The first thing that you wanna do is find the magnitude of vector v. All right, so the magnitude of vector v is going to be equal to the square root of the sum of the components squared. All right, so that will be five squared plus nine squared. And now if we simplify, five squared is 25 and nine squared is 81. So this is equal to the square root of 25 plus 81. And 25 plus 81 is 106. So this is equal to the square root of 106. And the square root of 106 is in its simplest form. It cannot be simplified any further. 106 doesn't have any factors that are perfect squares. So I'm just gonna leave it in this form. So now what we wanna do to find our unit vector is divide vector v by that magnitude, right? The square root of 106 is the magnitude of vector v. So here's what we'll have. The unit vector that is in the same direction as vector v will be equal to one divided by the square root of 106 times vector v, which is the position vector five comma nine. So we're going to have five comma nine. Okay, and so now all we have to do is multiply this scalar multiple by both of the components of this vector. So if we do that, this will be equal to five divided by the square root of 106, and then nine divided by the square root of 106. And that will be the unit vector in the same direction of vector v. All right, so we found the unit vector, but we also want to show that its length is one, right? Because a unit vector has a magnitude or a length of one. So we wanna make sure that that's true for this unit vector that we just found. So let's test that out. If we take the magnitude of vector u, that will be equal to the square root of the sum of the components squared. So we'll have five divided by the square root of 106 squared plus nine divided by the square root of 106 squared. And if we simplify, that will be equal to the square root of 25 divided by 106 plus 81 divided by 106, right? Because if we square this quantity, five squared is 25, and the square root of 106 squared just becomes 106. If you square a square root, you just get the value inside the square root back. And in the same way, if you square this quantity, nine squared is 81, and the square root of 106 squared is also just 106. So now we have two fractions with common denominators, so we can add their numerators together. And 25 plus 81 is 106, so this is equal to the square root of 106 divided by itself, and anything divided by itself is one, so this is just the square root of one, which of course is equal to one. And so the magnitude of vector u is one, which means that it is indeed a unit vector.